Hello and welcome to the templates page and in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and use the templates that you got together with the Vidtasia training and below this video you can see this download button that you can just click to download all the templates and once you download it all you have to do is save them in a certain folder in your website and the collection will look like this and as you can see we've got 10 Camtasia projects as the templates plus an asset folder right there and I recommend that you just leave that asset folder untouched so that you will not transfer the files that's connected to these projects and will not cause them to be missing once you open the project so as you can see we've got templates for live action videos we've also got for review type of videos and this is for a screen capture type of videos even for a service providing kind of videos but aside from that I also added some more here like for social following for internet marketing company although of course you can just use this for any other company if you wanted to plus I also added a VSL template right there so let me first open this one the live action template so once you open the template it looks like this and it seems that nothing is in there but all you have to do is scroll this bar here to see the elements at the upper timelines there we go and as you can see they are in tracks number three to five and the reason I left the track number one and two blank is that I wanted you to add your video as well as your background music here once you're editing so as you can see if I slide this playhead here as you can see we've got a place where you can add your name as well as your title but of course before you do you might want to add your talking head video here first so that we just import a talking head and I can place that at track number two and as you can see it's a little bit covering my face right there so maybe what I can do is make my video a little bit bigger maybe like that so that my face will not be covered or I can just transfer this element as well if I wanted to there we go and as soon as I do that I can just change the name with my name I'll double click that to change the text as well as the title whatever things that I want to talk about let's say video marketing I can always do that and that's how easy it is to change the text right there but if I wanted to change the color of the solid here I can also do that I can just click the solid and then I can go here to this annotation properties tab and I can just go here to choose whatever color that I wanted to use let's say I want to use green I can always do that but just bear in mind that because there's an animation going on here it's also changing the color of the solid together with the animations and as you can see the animation is happening here and if you don't like the color to be coming from this color to a green color what you can do is just go back to the beginning by placing your playhead there and just choose that solid and maybe make sure that the color of the solid will also be green from the beginning there we go and of course you can also change the color of the text if you wanted to just double click the text or just go here to the text properties tab change whatever color you want for now let me just leave that as white you can also change the font you can just choose any font from here as well as the size of the text if you wanted to so that's how easy it is to change the properties of this lower thirds and the title and of course here in the middle let's say you have some body here you added the details of your video and let's say you ended it here of course you can always click and drag these elements move them at the end of your video and then just add whatever call to action that you want to add so you can just do the same thing just double click change the text click the arrow if you want to change the color go to the annotations tab panel and choose whatever color that you want and by the way once you open a template it's also a great idea to save it as another project so that you will not overwrite the ones that are in your collection in that way if you want to reuse the template that you're using then you can just start from how the templates look like from the beginning so I forgot to save this first before touching anything but once you start I recommend that you save it first as another project by going here to file click save us and then just rename it with any project title that you want to add and then just 
save it in any other folder that you want. Let me not do that, so let me just click cancel. And let me just close this for now and open some other templates as well. And for now, let me open this one, product review. Here we go. And as you can see, just like earlier, I left the uh, track number one and two where you can add, in this case, your narration or voiceover as well as your background music if you want to add one. And let me just click my display head from here. There we go. And as you can see, for this product review template, I have here an e-cover of a product, a title for the review, as well as a place where you can add your name. So let's say I want to change this with other product. All you have to do is right-click from here, from this media bin, right-click, click Update Media, and then just choose whatever image or cover photo that you want to use to change that e-cover over there. Let me just hit cancel because I don't I don't want to change that for now but that's how you can do it. And of course here you can just add the name of the product here and of course you can just change this with your name as well. As always like earlier you can always change the, the color of those solids right there. And as you can see here after the title there's this transition and then I, I just added some text there that you can use as a guide for the content that you, are, you will add in each section. So after the title, let's say you are reviewing a web application or a membership site or something, what you can do is just delete this text here and then just add your screen capture to this part. And you can just do the same thing in these other places. So after the demo, you can add your pros and cons what you can say about the product and if you have some bonuses to give to those who will buy the product through your affiliate link you can just add it here as well and as you can see in each section there's a transition just to cue the audience that it will be another topic in the next section and of course at the end of the video if there's a call to action here you can just change this with, with whatever call to action that you want to add you can change the color of the solid as well as the color of the arrow if you wanted to. So that's it for the product review template. Let me open another one. Let me open one of the service provider templates as well. And as you can see, I have one for an image portfolio and another one for a video portfolio. For now, let me open the image portfolio. And as you can see, I already added a copy here for you, a title although you can always change it with another title if you wanted to and again you can always change the logo with your own logo by right clicking update media and then just choose whatever logo that you wanted to use let me just hit cancel for now but that's how you can change the logo right there another thing that you might want to change here is the image for the portfolio so let's say you're a photographer or a web designer or something and you want to show an image of your portfolio here, you can always do so. And if you want to change this placeholder images here, all you have to do is right click again, click update media, and then just find whatever image that you want to use. Again, let me just hit cancel. And then at the end is the call to action where you can add your website, your phone number, as well as your email. And by the way, when things are overlapping here and it seems like you cannot edit them, all you have to do is click this boxes here. And of course, you can also just position these things wherever you want. Or if you don't like to use any of these contacts, like you don't like to add your email, then you can also simply delete this text right here. And of course, we still have some other templates as well, like the internet marketing company. And as you can see, this is an animated type of template that you can use. There we go. And as you can see, the character is already done for you. So all you have to do is change whatever text that you want to add there. And of course, you can change the color of that call out if you wanted to. Just go here to the annotations tab and just choose whatever color that you want from here. Let's just bring that back to green. And for this one, you can always transfer them if you wanted to. As you can see, you can just click that circle over there and maybe place it here, right here if you wanted to. Let me just bring that back here. So that's how you can change where you want the callout to happen if you wanted to. 
and here as you can see I just did a bracket for the name of the company of course you can just add the name of the company there as well as in the call to action and basically the principle works the same way with loose weight and social template but let me just show you one last type of template that I created which is the VSL one let me open this one there we go and as you can see this is a clean looking VSL template and you can just change the text with whatever text that you want and of course you might want to update the profile image right there as well just right click click update media and just choose whatever image that you want to use let me just hit cancel for now and yep this is just a simple VSL where I already added a copy right there you can just go over the text and change them whenever you want so yep that's how easy it is to use all these templates I hope you find them useful and feel free to use them for both your own project as well as for your clients projects so thanks a lot for watching and enjoy using these templates